Hey guys, uh, this is the end of week one for CFR 105, and the assignment is to use the Windows version of DD. It's a it's a dd.exe file. To it's a command line tool, so you're going to use CLI to uh, reach out to a maybe a USB drive or or maybe a an SD card plugged into your system, ideally through a write blocker, uh, but that's not really what this this uh, assignment's about. Um, it's just about creating an acquisition, um, and at least I think it is. I, I have to look at the rubric again now. Maybe there is a hash verification part to this assignment. If there is, then make sure it's write blocked. Okay, um, <coughs> there I go again, coughing all over everybody. I have this, yeah. Anyway, uh, so, DD is a native Linux command line tool. It's built into all Linux. So, the e truthfully, the easiest way to do this assignment is to create a Linux boot disk or a boot drive, right, using Ubuntu or Rufus or whatever. And I made a Paladin Linux distro here. Uh, and, and you could use a Deft or Kane or Kali, right? They all are these Linux distros that have DD built in. So you boot into your thumb drive instead of Windows, and then you the command line interface is very, very easy for DD when you're running it natively from Linux, right? It's just DD, right? And, and I, I don't know why I'm even telling you this, unless you want to try it with the Linux version, but it's just DD and then your IF or your input file, that would be your original native uh, evidence, right? So your input file equals, and then device A, device B, device C, whatever it is, slash uh, SDA or whatever, whatever the exact uh, volume or, or directory is for this device, and, and then space output file, OF, equals and then you, you you pick the device that you want to save it to c or and that would be windows sorry uh you know uh dev device uh, a uh colon uh or no i'm not, sorry forward slash um and then you would just call it you know sd acquisition dot dd and you hit enter uh, you can actually do things like also set the uh, block size, which is Linux for cluster size. So if you think back to what we talked about, device architecture, you got a sector, which is 512. And then in Windows, we call them clusters when you group a bunch of sectors together. In Linux, we call them blocks. So your block size, BS, I didn't come up with that, BS equals uh, maybe it's 512 or K, or maybe it's 4096K. Whatever your block size is, whatever you can specify for your for your DD image. Now, for this assignment, though, we're asking you to use a, uh, a Windows version of DD, and it's a little bit clunky, to be honest with you, but it's just a way to show you that you can use command line interface to ac uh, make an acquisition of a hard drive. We're going to make an image of this, just like we did back in uh, CFR 101. We used a FTK Imager to point to this little guy plugged into my machine, hopefully right blocked, and then you acquire an image, make an image. Well, you don't need FTK Imager. You can use DD, right? So here's what I did is I, uh, let's see if I can pull this up over here. So here's uh, my hard drive. What I did is I, uh, this uh, SA405 uh, is an external drive. It's plugged into, uh, it's just a USB drive plugged into my uh, workstation. It has, okay, dd.exe in the root. So you have to unzip your dd file that you download from the assignment section, right? You, you click on download. What are, I better, better show you that, I guess, just to be safe. So if we go to, um, uh, this is what my... my what it looks like on my end. If I go to modules and then I go down to the DD assignment, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, DD for Windows, uh, assignment DD image acquisition. Okay. There should be here. Um, oh, verify the image using FTK Imager. Good. Okay. So this is your assignment. Uh, okay. It doesn't tell you where to get DD here. I guess that's probably under the the DD for Windows Lecture. All right, there it is, sure enough. Okay, so we're looking here and there should be a link, I believe I saw it here a few minutes ago. Uh, John New, New Big, New Begin, New, I don't know what it is. Oh, there it is. So right there, click on that link and it'll take you to his, it'll download it and then you can open it up and it's, it creates the zip folder here. Where'd it go? Right there. Oh, it's just, a, it's just an executable. So let's just copy it. 
it didn't even it didn't even download a zip okay all right so now I've got that got it all right so now I'm gonna drop it in here into my, the root of my directory here um, I'm going to use a portable app because if I were going to a crime scene I would bring my own command line tool so I've got my portable apps here as you can see I've got a whole bunch of stuff in my portable apps uh, I just use command line <coughs> excuse me there I go again must be my emphysema coming back all right so I'm going to um, run my command line portable and uh, there we go there's my CLI uh, and and basically what I want to do is uh, what's the name of it I guess I should do a, a list so uh, this is how you get a uh, no sorry I'm in Windows DIR all right so there's all the stuff I've got in here in the root of my iDrive um, as you can see I've got uh, dd.exe uh, I'm gonna use dd dash zero dot four beta one dot exe uh, you know what let me see if I click double click on that if it pulls it up by any chance just out of curiosity uh, I have let's see if it maybe it gives me its own command line tool no it doesn't okay so I'm gonna rename this maybe that's a bad idea all right we'll just run it as maybe it's gonna let me just do a standard DD DD and then <clears throat> um, dash dash list let's see if I, okay so that's kind of cool right because now we have a if you do the dash dash list from DD that gives us all of the volumes hooked up to this computer so you can see volume I right here that's that's my a forensic drive right that I plugged in my external hard drive that's got DD on it um, and it's just uh, mounted on I and um, what I want to know is where is this uh, SD card that I plugged in and the SD card is uh, it should be in H right let me see if H is here there it is okay so um, what I want to do is is DD has taken this I copied that that volume string right so I'm gonna go DD and then I'm gonna go input file equals okay and then I'm gonna paste that volume uh, identifier right because so basically it's taken this Windows volume identifier uh, and uh, if I were in Linux I'd just be like device slash a or SDA or whatever and and uh, but in in Windows we can't use it exactly like that so that's gonna be my target my evidence file that's the one I'm gonna copy and then my output file equals and then I'm just gonna go I right I'm gonna put it on the root of my I drive and I'm gonna do um, I and then I'm just gonna name it I'm just gonna give it a name we're gonna call it uh, 128 megabyte SD card dot DD that's what I'm gonna name the file that's gonna be my image file and I can say my block size is equal to let's say 512 K okay. let's see if that works says it's doing it <coughs> excuse me um, all right so let's pull up our Windows Explorer and see what happened there um, as you can see I have the 128 megabyte uh, drive in H which which I couldn't just say H I, I had to put that weird volume in there I think because it's Windows right um, all right and now let's look at my I drive that's my forensic drive let's see if it gave me right there 128 megabyte DD so there's my image file it just dumped it in that directory it's this easy and then uh, we want to open up FTK imagers so we'll go back we're in my iDrive here let's go back to my portable apps portable apps folder where's FTK imager something that you guys will recognize FTK imager light uh, FTK imager start it up yep all right there it is now I'm gonna add an evidence file uh, from an image file click next uh, enter the source path browse hey, there it is right there in the root of I uh, 128 megabyte DD open and finish and it pulled it up there it is and it is an XFAT I formatted XFAT the root directory there we go there's an evidence file dot uh, txt that's in on my text um, on my SD card and so you click it let's look at it it says it was created today um, March 31st at 4 p.m. Uh, and here's the details of it this file represents 
an evidence file on this removable media. Uh, if you want to look at the text version, there it is. There's all the ASCII uh, characters uh, encoded in hexadecimal, which you've successfully, hopefully, converted from binary into decimal, etc. Uh, so there you go. That's as simple as it gets, right? So we, I just did the whole lab for you uh, using uh, Windows DD. Again, you could use Paladin, you could use Kane if you want to boot into Linux first. The command line interface is actually much easier because you don't have to go through this whole uh, go find this Windows uh, GUID or, or unique identifier for the volume that you're trying to image. You can just pick tell what device it is okay anyway that's all i got for you guys i hope that was useful hope you uh are successful in this lab text me or call me if you have questions